What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we are going to talk about how to beat supply cups. Supply cups do not care how fast your car is or how many parts you have installed. There's actually only one thing that the supply cup cares about and your car might actually be able to beat it with no upgrades. A bone stock car may or may not be able to beat it depending on one thing. Can your car beat the dyno time in the quarter mile? Supply cups are always quarter mile races. It doesn't matter if you're using a tier one or a tier five car, they are always quarter mile. Some bone stock cars with absolutely no upgrades upgrades are capable of beating the dyno time. If the car does not beat the dyno time, you're not going to be able to get through this or you are going to struggle to get through this. And if that's happening, if the car is not beating the dyno in the quarter mile, that means you are going to have to have some upgrades on it. You want to be able to, able to at least tune the transmission tires and the nitrous so upgrade at least those three parts generally once you have a really good tune on the car if it's not beating the quarter mile dyno time you can simply just take the transmission slider and move it to the left or the right a little bit and play with it and do test runs until you get it to beat the dyno unfortunately not every single car in the game is capable of beating the dyno some of them no matter how you tune it are never going to do it but the cool thing is let's just say the supply cup is for a honda you can choose any Honda you have to use. So if you do have one Honda that beats the dyno, you can just switch to that one and use it. So bottom line is play with your transmission slider until the car is capable of beating the dyno on the quarter mile or switch to a different car of the same manufacturer that is. At the end of this video, I am gonna pop up one of my older videos that I made a while back about how to tune your cars to beat supply cups. So that video will go into more detail on the actual tuning. It's an old video, hopefully it doesn't suck, but hey. So I'm gonna go ahead and fit this car back to bone stock. We got the tires on stage three, transmissions on stage four. We got the nitrous on stage three and all the other parts are fitted back to stock with no upgrades whatsoever. So we have a dyno of a 10.959 on the quarter mile and this car is running 10.8. So we should be able to beat the supply cup, no problem. Race number 22. It'll be a close one, but we are going to squeak by right at the end of the finish line there. And we got him. We got him. No problem. Very easy peasy, guys. It's all about beating that dyno. And in just a minute, we will pop up the videos on the screen. I might even just put my entire tuning playlist up on the screen so you can find the whole thing. Every video I've ever made about tuning should be on that playlist. We just squeaked by another race. No problem. These races are very close, but hey, we're on race number 24 out of 25. If you notice, he's running 10.954s, which is right around what my car's dyno time was, and I'm running just a little bit faster. So this type of race actually adjusts to your car's dyno time. And I'm telling you right now, if you're not beating the dyno, you are not beating the supply cup. Unless you're super lucky. I mean, there are some weird circumstances where you might be able to do it, but you are going to struggle. This one is not looking good, but I think we are going to make it right at the end. And ba bam, we just blew through it. No problem. And if you notice that time, I got a slower run, so I barely, barely made it. But yeah. All you gotta do is run faster than that dyno time and you will breeze through these supply cups. Well, I shouldn't say breeze through them because, you know, there's always room for error and mistakes and things happen. But generally, generally it's all about tuning the car to beat the dyno. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In just a second, those playlists and videos will pop up on the screen. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys find those helpful. But... We just destroyed the supply cup. No problem with a car that's only got a couple of upgrades. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I make the videos to help you out. So if you want to help me out, you can support the channel by clicking the thank you button or the join button down below the video. Drop down the video's description. There's some ways to help support the channel in there. Plus there's some game news, a discord server, and all kinds of stuff you might be interested in. But that's pretty much it when it comes to beating supply cups.